Give me our two new Sean Stepner live in College Park now with the latest. Sean. Well, Kelly, University of Maryland President Wallace D. Lowe and Athletics Director Damon Evans saying today they have parted ways with strength and conditioning coach for the football program, Rick Court. Now, this all happening after allegations in an ESPN report that Court's practices contributed greatly to a toxic culture within the program. A school official telling me Court offered his resignation yesterday and the program accepted it. Now, all this coming to light in the wake of the death of 19-year-old Terps offensive lineman Jordan McNair. The Randallstown native fell ill during a May workout and died two weeks later. McNair was suffering from heat stroke. Lowe and Evans say he didn't receive proper care from the school's training staff. The two men also saying they met with McNair's family today to personally apologize for the death of their son and shared some of that conversation this afternoon. The university accepts legal and moral responsibility for the mistakes that our training staff made on that fateful workout day of May the 29th, which of course led subsequently to his death. As a father, there are no words to say to Jordan's parents that are good enough. I have looked into the eyes of a grieving mother and father, and there is simply nothing good enough. Lowe and Evans say they have formed a review panel to examine the culture and practices within the football program following that disturbing report about the culture within the team. Now, three other football staff members remain on administrative leave tonight, including head coach DJ Durkin. That's all pending a, an external review of the program. That review is expected back by September 15th. For now, live in College Park, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News. Now, late this afternoon, the McNair family released a statement through their attorney. It says they appreciated meeting with the President Wallace Lowe and Athletic Director Damon Evans, who again offered their condolences and to accept legal and moral responsibility for Jordan's death. The full statement goes on to say, while Marty and Tanya will never get another day with Jordan, Dr. Lowe's words were meaningful to them and give them some comfort that he will put the university on the path to change the culture of the program so that no Terrapin family will have to endure the heartache and grief that they feel.